God, she's in the 10th grade. High school's almost over, it gets so expensive. Luckily, Martin and I thought ahead, and when Molly was a baby, we, we put away some money for bail. <laughs> so, what am I gonna do the, the day she leaves the house? It's gonna be excruciating. I was talking to my friend Cindy about it, and she said, you know what, Rita, don't worry, because college is only four years, and then they come home and they live with you for the rest of their lives. <laughs> Because she has a son, wait, what do you hear? He went to Ivy League College, came home, lives in the basement, and he's a bouncer. <laughs> Not at a nightclub, he just has a ball and he likes to bounce it. <laughs> and there are gonna be no jobs anyway. I mean, what's Molly gonna do? I was trying to think what the world is gonna need in the future, and I think what Molly should be is a tattoo remover. Because a lot of people are going to be happy with the decisions they made in their youth. And some people are gonna say, you know, I like French toast. I don't know why I seared it into my forehead. <laughs> and there's so many things I don't understand about young people. Maybe you can help me. I don't understand the clothes. Young boys' clothing's getting looser and lower. Young girls' clothing's getting tighter and higher. So a young couple crossing the street, he was wearing a blanket, she was wearing a blindfold. <laughs> Here's something I'll never understand, the pierced tongue. And I think strange things, I can't stop myself. Like, if they take it out and then they eat soup, does it fall through the hole? <laughs> and it's always young people who go into body piercing, I might have figured this out. I think it's because they haven't experienced a lot of pain in their lives yet. You never see a 90-year-old person wake up and say, you know what I'd like to do today? <laughs> Just as a present to myself. Punch a hole in a tender organ. <laughs> and I know, I know tattoos are all the rage and I would never get one, but you know what? Luckily, on my left leg, I have a vein in the shape of a ship. I don't understand the music. Madonna's music used to be shocking, but you know what it is now? It's elevator music. I was in an elevator. I heard, like a virgin, touched for the very first time. What's elevator music gonna be like in 30 years? Got something itching in my pants and it's swinging to and fro. But I can't scratch it, my shorts are too low. Your enjoyment that was performed by the Mormon Tabernacle Choir. <laughs>